because you get used to it, which makes me sound really heartless, but it is what it is. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today we're gonna to go through some of the pros and cons of working on board a cruise ship. So if you have just gotten a job on cruise ships or maybe you've just started on cruise ships, this is for you. So we're gonna start with the cons and finish with the pros because I like to leave on a good note, you know? I don't want you leaving this video thinking like, oh my God, what have I just signed up for? The first one is you never switch off. So if you have a job on land, once you leave the office and you go home, that's it. You're done for the day. You can forget about work until the next day. Whereas when you're on a cruise ship, you finish work, but you're still on the cruise ship. Like you're still in the environment. And most likely you will share a cabin with someone who's from the same department as you're in. So you tend to go back to your cabin and if you talk to your roommate, which most people do, then you'll probably discuss work. And then if you go to the crew bar, you'll most likely hang out with the people that you work with. It's very difficult to escape work. And then even when you have like time off and you go out in port, you're still a crew member. So of course you can disassociate, but let's say a guest comes up to you and says, hey, I recognize that you're a crew member from the ship. Can you help me out? You can't be like, no bitch, I'm, I'm having time off. Like you're representing the company. You've probably been hired because you're a good person and you're polite. So you have to help the, the passenger out and do your duty as a crew member. And because of this, you never fully switch off. Also, you don't get a day off. So like every day at some point you will be working. Not necessarily all day every day, but like when I worked in the shops, I worked every evening. So because you don't get a weekend off, a day off, you can never fully switch off, which is why you are so tired at the end of your contract and you need a few months off to <laughs> disconnect. The next one is pretty obvious, is being away from home for such a long time. So your contracts are going to be between five to nine months. That is a long time to be away from home. And you are going to miss birthdays, Christmas possibly, like other religious holidays that you may celebrate, weddings, births, birthdays. While you can't live your life to not miss those things. For example, one of my biggest fears going on cruise ships was, what if my grandparents pass away while I'm on a cruise ship? And my dad was like, but you can't make decisions based on the fact that they might die while you're away and he was completely right but it does suck missing these events because you know like when my uncle got married when my friend got married it was bittersweet well actually it was just bitter knowing that I couldn't be there so that's the second con the internet is another con the internet is going to be trash no matter what cruise line you're on, if you go on Virgin and you get free internet, that is a huge plus, but it's still not the greatest Wi-Fi because you're on a ship in the ocean. So, you know, we are in a time now where you pretty much constantly have internet, whether you're using mobile data or whether you're in a location that actually has Wi-Fi. So going on a cruise ship, it's almost like stepping back in time because you don't always have access to Wi-Fi and that is a really difficult adjustment. The rules you have to follow, so as you can imagine, just like with any job, but especially with cruise ships, there are a lot of rules that you have to follow because of course there are the rules that would come with any job, like turn up on time, don't bring your phone to work, you know, general job rules. But then those rules also spill over into your personal life because as we said, your personal and professional life merge because you are living on the cruise ship as well as working on the cruise ship. So there's gonna be rules like, maybe you're not allowed in passenger areas after a certain time. If you have tattoos, you, you know, they can't be on display, you're gonna to have to cover them up. You can only get off the cruise ship at certain times. Like there's rules that are definitely gonna spill over into your time off and your personal life that are annoying, but it is just part of, ship life and it don't, you'll get used to it for sure because like every single crew member in the world does get used to it but again it's a difficult adjustment no personal space so if you are just starting a job on a cruise ship most likely you're going to be sharing a cabin you're going to have a roommate so it is hard to have privacy and just some goddamn time to yourself because when you're at work you're going to be surrounded by people time off 
you're probably going to be surrounded by people and then you go back to your cabin and you're going to have a roommate now this is why it's so important to have good communication with your roommate so that you can say i need an hour to myself please get out obviously you wouldn't say it like that but to be able to have that communication with your roommate is incredible is life-changing but not being able to just go back to your own space this is why on virgin the fact that i had my own cabin yes it was an absolute shoe box but it was my own space it was priceless like priceless but not having your own space is difficult and then the last con that i'm going to mention is the goodbyes so you work on a cruise ship you're going to work with people from all over the world you might make friends with someone who's from Jamaica, Fiji, South Africa, Norway, which means that when you finish your contract or when they finish their contract and you say your goodbyes, you don't know when you're going to see them again, especially if you're both continuing to work on cruise ships, because there's no guarantee that you're going to be on the same cruise ship. You might join at completely different times. You'll be on a different schedule. So I've had a friend who I met five years ago and we've been trying to meet up for five years. But because we've been on cruise ships for five years, our contracts have just never lined up. So the goodbyes are really difficult because it is a good, like nine times out of 10, it is a really like goodbye forever. Like I'm never going to see you again, which is difficult, but it definitely makes you more resilient. Um, and it makes it easier to say goodbye to people in the future because you get used to it, which makes me sound really heartless, but... It is what it is. And now we are going to get into the pros. Like I said, it's not all bad. I would not have worked on ships for 10 years if it was all bad. So the pros going off what I just said about the goodbyes is you meet amazing people from all over the world. My closest friends are from, you know, Mexico, the Ukraine, South Africa. And I would never have met those people if I hadn't worked on cruise ships. So it absolutely widens your horizons. It gives you the opportunity to meet people that you just would not get the opportunity to meet otherwise. Obviously, you get to see some amazing places. So if you have watched my videos for a while, you will know that the original reason why I started working on cruise ships is because I wanted to travel and I had absolutely no money. So it was a great way to see the world on somebody else's dime. And that is exactly what it has been for me along with other things but like i have been almost everywhere and got paid for it and you know the places that i have seen the things that i have done i would never have been able to afford to do that and i would also not have had the time because you know like they say if you have the time you probably don't have the money and if you have the money you probably don't have the time so i feel so grateful that i've been able to see all of these places and also save so you know like i remember i went to hawaii and me and my friends did this helicopter tour which was like 500 dollars. and i remember thinking if i had paid to come to hawaii i wouldn't have been able to justify a 500 dollar tour it was one of the best things i've ever done same with alaska i did a helicopter tour on a glacier hike and a dog sled thing which was $500 in Alaska again if I'd have had to pay to go to Alaska I wouldn't have been able to justify a $500 tour on top of that <sighs> got a magnet for so if you are wanting to travel and you have no money this is a really good way to do it another pro is you learn to lie you learn to lie you learn to rely on yourself so you go on a cruise ship completely alone. You don't know anyone on board, most likely. So you only have yourself. You're on a ship with crappy internet and most likely there's gonna be a big time difference between where you are and where you're from. So you can't necessarily finish your shift at work after a really crappy day and call your mom because of internet and the time difference or call your friend. And then you might not have a friend on board that you can vent to. So you learn to get really good on your own. And I don't mean like completely isolate yourself, but the point is you learn to self-soothe and you learn to talk yourself down from situations. And if you're feeling anxious or if you're feeling sad, 
you learn to talk yourself out of it you don't need anybody else to do that for you and I think that's one of the biggest lessons that I've got from working on cruise ships is that I'm completely a self-contained unit like I love people I love being around people but like I don't need anybody because I have spent so much time on my own and I've had to learn to be good on my own and obviously at times that was really difficult but again it's gotten me to this place now where I can do that and it's something you have to practice to be good at like obviously when I first got on board a ship I no, I was not good by myself I, like, oh, I need my mom I need my friends but you don't have when you don't have that option you kind of just have to get on with it but now I look back and I can see what an absolute gift that has been so learning to rely on yourself learning to self-soothe learning to be your own best friend is something that you are going to gain you're going to become very worldly the reason you're going to become worldly is because you're going to be working on a cruise ship which probably has like 50 nationalities working with you so you're going to interact and become friends with people from the Philippines, from South Africa, from Australia, from England, from America. So you don't have any choice but to learn about different cultures and religions and how different people operate and what's acceptable and all of these amazing things, which just makes you a more interesting and well-rounded person because you know a little bit about a lot. And it's just a really beautiful thing because you're constantly learning from the people that you work with and everybody's a teacher and a learner at the same time. And through that, you will improve your social skills, which life is all about, we are tribal creatures. Life is all about social skills. I have talked about this before, like social skills are literally the key to happiness. One of the keys to happiness, in my opinion. Like if you're good socially, like you, life's made pretty much. If you like yourself and you're good in social situations, you ain't got nothing to worry about. So like, even if you go to work on cruise ships just to improve your social skills, do it. Another one is saving. So yes, this is, this is a choice obviously, um, but it is easier to save when you're on a cruise ship because you don't have a commute to work. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to pay for food. The only things that you have to pay for is probably internet, unless you work on Virgin Voyages, and your time out in port. That's it. So like when I talk about the helicopter excursion I did in Alaska, that's the only thing I had to pay for. I didn't have a grocery shop to do. I didn't have a bill to pay. If you know that you maybe want to buy a house in the future or you want, I don't know, you want to save money for something, this is a really good way to do it because you have like no expenses when you're on board. It does take a little money to get yourself on board, but once you're on board, you're good. And then the last pro that I'm gonna talk about is home becomes holiday. So normally, if you have a job on land where you live, you spend all year there and you can't wait to have those two weeks abroad somewhere nice. But when you work on a cruise ship, you spend all year abroad and you can't wait to go home. And there is something really beautiful about that, that home is vacation. And you no longer see home as like, oh God, it's reality. It's like, no, I get to go home and I get to see my family and my friends and just be at home. And yes, of course, like you can go home and then go abroad and you can do whatever you want with your time off. But there is something really magical about home being the vacation and then also you get a huge chunk of time off which not a lot of people get in this world you know if you have a job you maybe get a month off a year whereas if you work on a cruise ship for six months yes you work every day yes it's difficult but then you get like three to four months off you could have less time and you could have more time but how amazing is that three to four months to reconnect with your friends reconnect with your family go traveling like I went backpacking between one of my cruise ship contracts and that's just like really, really beautiful. But anyway, those are just some of the pros and cons of working and living on a cruise ship. If you have any questions or actually if you work on cruise ships, if you can think of any more pros and cons, let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and as always, I will see you next week in the next video.